Hi there, KC8ZKI, the QRP guy, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a few of the tricks I use for working Winlink. Um, so what I've got here, I've got my FT818. I've got my little CQ ham battery tuner box, a Signal Link USB. I've got my Microsoft Surface Pro. I've got an Amazon tripod, a Moonraker SPX100 antenna and two radials and i'm on the second floor of the home so it's sort of a compromise environment which is often what you'll find when you're out portable um, this is going to simulate you know pretty tough conditions working from indoors so uh, wind link frequencies are on 20 meters i'm going to try 20 meters today and the reason i'm trying 20 meters is if i step through the bands and i listen to ft8 20 meters sounds great right now so that's kind of a great propagation indicator. Listen to your FT8 frequencies. You know, I have them in memory, so I, I, I can go to memory. And I can just flip through them. Oh, and there you go. Look at that. You know, 20 meters comes alive. 17's pretty good, too. 15's not bad. 12's good. 10. Okay, so right now, 20's our best bet, right? So then what I do is I pick my wind link frequencies and I'm gonna do that with RMS Express. Oh, it's already running. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run an HF wind link session. I'm assuming you guys know how to use wind link. I, what I'm trying to do is just show you my little trick. So we're gonna pick our frequency, um, open the session. And I'm trying to work 20 meters. So I'll do a channel selection. Now one thing to note, you see how there's these wides versus narrows. There's the 500 and then there's the 23s and 2700s. A lot of people are trying to use the 2700s now to see how fast they can push HF email. That new VARA wide 2750, it really can push email fast. The problem is, Everyone's trying to push it. What I recommend, especially when you're working QRP and you don't want to compete with everyone else, is select a 500 on the frequency of interest. They're less used and uh, more likely, and I'm on 20 meters. Let's see, where's a 20 meter here? Yeah, my first 20 meter. I think it's where my radio is already on, but. There he is. No, nope, that's not 20 meters. There we go. This zone. I've used this one before. Okay. And that's telling me to set my dial to 14111.5 the center frequency 14113 that's a little confusing for some people but thankfully the windlink team has figured it out for you and you just have to set your dial right so now we're going to set the dial at 14111.5 now here's one of the tricks i do i've found my frequency i'm going to close windlink and I'm going to open WSJTX. The reason I do this is WSJTX has got that tune feature. Is it opening? And it just helps me to tune the radio. So it, it thinks I'm on 20 meters. Well, it thinks I'm on 30. There's no cat control, so it doesn't really matter. All I really need is the tune button, okay? So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to set my power low. Okay. Right, I'm on low power. Again, apologies for the lousy video. I'll turn that down. And I'm going to hit tune in JTX. There we go. We're tuning. You can see my SWR. I'm already set to SWR. If I tune the antenna, you see I... Either one, the antenna control or 
the transmitter control. It's a, a WSG ATX gives me a nice tune. Now one of the things I do before I even hit that tune is I rotate my inductor for the loudest signal and I set my antenna and transmitter controls in the middle. Oftentimes, I mean, you can hear, uh, you, you can get really close and, and like, like I was already and uh, not have to worry too much about taxing the finals on the radio because you're already so close. So we're ready to go. Now I hear some activity there. So I'm probably not gonna transmit till that activity's gone. That is the right thing to do. That is the ham way of doing things. All right, okay. Right, it sounds quiet now. Let's hurry up and get a session going again. I'm gonna put my power back up. Okay, it's ready to go. There's the center frequency we had before. It just comes right back where it was. And we're gonna hit start. up so I can hear if he answers. A little bit of STD. Let's tweak that out. There we go. Tweak out the standard. Oh, sounds like we got an answer. We do. So let's I think. Hopefully that's an answer and not somebody else working him or someone else. Yep, we've got a connection to WW0. His range is a thousand kilometers. At a station bearing of 281. I've got a signal to noise of 5.2. That's pretty darn good. Let's see what Vera decides to establish. I'm hearing him well. He might not be hearing me as well since I'm only using five watts. So it's gonna stick to 18 for me. I hear him well, he's probably struggling for me. Now he, he might be sending me a message. No, nope. now I'm sending. I, I prepared a message ahead of time. So I'm sending my message. And I'm only sending at 61 bits per second, which is speed number three. And again, that's that's because of the five watts, I'm sure. But still, you know, five watts, a thousand kilometers from an indoor antenna that's compromised even if it were outdoor, I would say that's not too bad. That is a successful wind link contact. I shouldn't count my eggs before they're hatched. Okay, it sent one message. And it's disconnecting. Okay, so let's see. That took one minute and 27 seconds to send a message on that compromise link. I think it's CWIDing now. Or am I CWIDing? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's his CWID. That's it. That's the end of the contact. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, just a couple of tricks in there to remember, you know, tune by sound first if you're using a manual tuner. If you've got an automatic, well, you just press a button. Um, use WSJT for your tune is nice, unless, again, you've got an automatic tuner. And with the Z817, you just press a button and it tunes. It's beautiful. But I, I like this tuner because it's got a battery, too. And, uh, again, pick the narrow channels, the 500s. The 2750s are going to be real tough with low power, so could go for the 500s, less QRM, better chance of getting through. Hope to hear you. Send me an email, kc8zki at winlink.org. I would love to hear from you. Uh, take care, and uh, happy DXing, kc8zki.